So the Southern Pygmy Perch is a small uh, native fish, only known from three uh, distinct locations in New South Wales. One being in this upper Lachlan catchment here now, one in the uh, upper Billabong catchment down near Holbrook, and one in the upper Murray catchment up near Tumbarumba. Total number of kilometres of stream that they inhabit in New South Wales now is about 44 kilometres of stream, so really small remnant populations left. They're classified as endangered in uh, New South Wales and they're currently under consideration for national listing. I, I know that they haven't been doing too well in the creek, they're slowly receding in the face of invasion by some alien species and we're out here trying to conserve them basically. To the habitat that pygmy perch really require and rely on is aquatic plants. So if you don't have aquatic plants, you don't have pygmy perch. And aquatic plants are gone from the vast majority of our systems now. And the other thing that's been a big contributor to the loss of aquatic plants is carp and the way that they feed and disturb the sediment and also increase the amount of uh, sediment and turbidity. So we're trying to um, take fish from the wild where we've rescued them from areas where they're in threat and um, then bred them in captivity and trying to re-establish uh, populations back in places where they used to be and we're trying to control carp in areas. And another major threat to pygmy perch is predation from redfin, an introduced species as well. So what you're looking at is a rock wall that was installed um, to protect the upper reaches of this creek, creek line. So by putting the rock wall in, it will stop redfin and also some uh, carp from moving further upstream. I did some uh, uh, monitoring work for Southern Pygmy Perch here earlier in the year and we sampled this site and I just thought it looked like a very good site to put a, a barrier to keep redfin perch out of the upstream areas. So we're here today looking at uh, potential locations for a barrier and what the barrier design options might be. Uh, the verdict is it looks like a, a suitable site for um, a, a barrier to redfin perch and uh, hopefully that barrier will be constructed soon and then uh, you know, we can expand the known range of pygmy perch. Yeah, there's lots the community can do. One of the big things, um, particularly in this part of the world where you know, redfin have been a recent invader, they've been spread into or moved into this catchment by, by humans, so you know, that's a, a big thing that um, we need to educate people about, I guess, the impacts that this introduced species has on pygmy perch and not just pygmy perch, other fish species as well and, and stop people from moving them into areas where they already aren't. The other thing they can do is obviously be involved in, in projects that are um, involved in improving or repairing habitat. So you know things like replanting aquatic vegetation and replanting trees and, and protecting our environment, you know, reducing or limiting stock access and keeping um, you know, the riverbanks vegetated and, and re-establishing some of that vegetation. So the southern pygmy perch uh, came onto my radar or our radar uh, through, through land care, our involvement with people like uh, Luke Pearce and we became really aware of just how critical it was in terms of uh, its, its survival. My wife has done uh, some quite uh, dramatic things further out on the farm. But specifically with a, a dam that uh, she's custom built for, for the southern pygmy perch and now we're trying to see those numbers breed up and so as we can start creating seed populations elsewhere. Once you know that there's a problem, it's pretty hard to ignore. You can't just sit there and say, gee, I'm, you know, I'm just going to see uh, a species that's really only found now locally here uh, become extinct because we didn't get off our backside and do something about it when it's quite possible to do it. They're a really good indicator that you know, our systems are, are in really bad shape and we need to do things to try and improve them, to restore them. Not just for pygmy perch, but for all the other fish species that are also in decline. My life is about conserving threatened freshwater fish and I'm not going to let them go extinct on my watch. I want my kids to be able to come out and see them and value them. And uh, I just think it's, uh, if we have the capacity to save them, why wouldn't we do it? I think to put a bit of effort into saving part of Australia's you know, freshwater fish heritage is a worthwhile thing to do.